All right, welcome to Dairy Farm Pest Control number 15. So we're going to start out right away on the top, one of the barns. See these guys up there, so take a shot straight away and thinking this guy's gone and you see he's going back and forth, back and forth. And <coughs> eventually he expires and doesn't move anymore. <coughs> Line up on that guy and now, did he just fly away? Let's take a closer look at that. So I line up, take the shot, and he goes straight down. Tail flailed, the whole thing, and I'm like, ah, so he did go down. So that was good. This is kind of an unusual one. I, uh, these guys are really fairly close. They're not even 20 yards away. So I take off the first one. And I shoot the second one, and I can't believe it, but I actually have to do a follow-up shot on this one. I uh, have no idea, but that is what it is. This guy's ready to duck out of the way and take him before he can get out of there. And my favorite uh, starling tree. Line up on this guy, and lights out. Back inside the barn, these two are talking to each other. And I'm going to cut their conversation a little short. Hey, what happened to my bud? Where's my buddy? Where's my buddy? Well, you're going the same way. I thought I was going to have to follow it up, but he eventually just topples over. Down he goes. Got another one sitting up on the rafters. So, take him out. Lining up on these guys, and out of, the, out of the corner of my eye, there comes a nice bird, 40 yards away, pigeon lands on the concrete. I'm like, I will be more than happy to take that shot. Go back over to the sparrows. They're still sitting there. Can't believe that. I'm like, okay, line up on you. So line up on him and take him out. So I got a number of them up here on the top of the roof again and <clears throat> I shoot this one and you can see that he got hit pretty good but he's going to duck into that webbing take out that one they're still sitting there so I'm like alright I'll take that one out <clears throat> nothing else so now I'm going back to pick up that bird off of that cement wall and here's a bird right on top of a feed pile, not not even caring that I'm there. I'm like, okay. So I shoot him. I thought I missed. And down he goes. So luckily I didn't have to do a follow-up with him. Back inside the barn, these guys are sitting on one of the trusses. And I'm like, uh, which one do I take? Three of you guys just lined up in a row. Well, this guy makes it easy. He shits. And you're done. So I take him out. This one's leaving me just enough that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get him. And no. I did enough to scare him. He's kind of, what's it? what happened? What happened? And now I take him. Here's one. Does he see me? Does he see me? Yes, I do. Back outside. Nice 50-yard shot. Missed the first time. It happens. Not so much the second time. Now I'm inside one of the storage barns where they store equipment. And see these guys in the corner, so take them out. This one's sitting on top of a plank, and he does not move. He, he's still up there today, so he never did fall off. This is a nice shot. He uh, kind of sits up there for a little bit, and then eventually he falls off. These three look like they're getting badgered by that male, so... Take him out. 
There's a nice uh, 80 yard shot, seven, 75 yard shot. I was kind of happy with it. Had a little bit of wind, but was able to take this guy out. So that was good. And then I uh, sneak around on another barn and this guy's sitting there. So I take him out. Here I got a nice little sparrow. Here I have a ninja sparrow. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Pull the trigger, he jumps. Ah, we all have those, I'm sure. But these guys, three little sparrows lined up. Can't pass this up. So, all right. Have a Merry Christmas, and uh, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next year.